It's hard to believe that Mariah Carey is still within the top 10. She hasn't made any major moves lately but that goes to show you the power of striking while the iron is hot, saving, and reinvesting. Even with her flop of a movie, Glitter, she's still holding strong. That perfume line must be doing well. He's not a businessman, he's a business, Marilyn. This is what happens after you score 19 Grammys, sell over 100 million records, and launch a successful clothing company Rocor Air. After marrying Beyonce, their combined wealth is over 1 billion. All it's going to take is a few more retirements and comebacks and he should climb a few notches on the list. Maybe one extra comeback cycle to make up for his goof with Tidal and Aspiro. Bono is a strange one. The lead singer of U2, Bono is straight killing it by marketing himself as the guy who wears those glasses while caring about ego and social activist issues. I can make jokes all day long, but the fact is, Bono is a boss. There's no wonder that Miss Dion is on the top 10 list. She's the top wealthiest music artist in Canada of all time after selling over 200 million records. After her smash hit on the Titanic soundtrack, she took advantage, launched the popularity of auto-tune, and rode that wave straight to the top 10 list. P. Diddy, aka Puff Daddy, Puffy, Diddy, Sean Combs, Sean John, etc. I'm sure there's more. This kind of marketing keeps you relevant, as silly as it is. We all could learn from this master, which has earned him the sixth spot on the list. He went beyond his own recordings to operating his own label, Bad Boy Records, launching the careers of guys like the notorious B.I.G. and Mace. There's a lot of crap out there trying to undermine the DRE, but the fact remains. He's impacted rap, music, and the culture of the United States. Very few people can say that. From being a member of NWA, Death Row Records, and operating his own label, he also launched several protégés, including Snoop Dogg, M. Minum, and 50 Cent. This lady has been in the game for a long time, pumping out pop hits since the 80s and forward, experiencing all of the ups and downs the industry has faced over the years. She's even a Golden Globe winning actress. The real wealth comes from her tireless touring, having played more live shows than any other female musician ever. Hubert Albert and the Tijuana Brass Band have released five number one albums and 28 total albums on the Billboard charts. His other notable awards are nine Grammys, 14 certified platinum albums, and 15 more gold albums. His total sales are over 72 million worldwide. There's no way you wouldn't find a member of the Beatles on this list especially Paul McCartney. He and John Lennon basically shared writing credits for their entire run, guaranteeing both of them continued riches forever. Tag on John's killer solo career, the band Wings, and collaborations with Michael Jackson and most recently Kanye West, and you've got a guy who's been our relevant pop icon since the early 60s. You are now looking at the king, you may not know his name, but you know his music. Broadway is almost synonymous with Weber, with him having penned their 13 of their greatest hits, The Phantom of the Opera, Jesus Christ Superstar, Cats, Vita, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Goat, and on and on. Dude's cleaning up. These shows are still happening nightly all across the world. Thanks to his business move of creating a really useful group. He gets a chunk of everything related to his products, including merchandise and ticket sales.